is DNS over HTTPS good for privacy? This is the new thing. Last year, Firefox pushed the feature to do DNS over HTTPS and recently Google announced that it will begin experimenting with it in Chrome. In other words, this is about encrypted DNS. So, is this really a good thing for us or is it all fake news? Find out next. First, let me explain what DNS is and then how this will change with DNS over HTTPS or DOH. The internet addressing system uses numbers. It's called an IP address. That's how traffic's routed from point to point, from your computer to a website, from your phone to an app. But we can't remember these numeric addresses, so we like to associate them to names like google.com, youtube.com, twitter.com, and so on. When you search for an internet resource using a name rather than an IP address, that name has to be translated to the IP address. This is the job of a DNS server, domain name system server. There's a hierarchy of DNS servers and these DNS servers synchronize themselves from a parent DNS server to keep a copy of internet resource names and their corresponding IP addresses. This is a big deal on the internet and this makes using the internet a lot easier. So for every website you visit, your device will make a corresponding domain name search on a DNS server. Just so you can visualize all this, I wrote an app for Linux that actually tracks your DNS searches as one of its features. Here's a short snippet of that app displaying the DNS searches I've done. I can find out a lot about what you're doing on your computer just by looking at DNS search activity. Just be aware of what's actually happening. Many of you don't even know this, but you can actually choose a DNS server to use. Otherwise, by default, your DNS server will be the one owned by your ISP. For example, if you want to use a custom one, the Google DNS server is 8.8.8.8 and the one from Cloudflare is 1.1.1.1. What is interesting to note is that currently, the standard DNS protocol is sent in plain text, meaning unencrypted. Let's say you type google.com on your browser. This will trigger a request in plain text to your DNS server to ask where google.com is and the server will respond again in plain text that it is 216.58.103.206 for example. Now this traffic also includes the source device so it also knows that the request was made by 100.200.300.1 which is your own IP address. What Firefox has done and Google wants to do is to promote the use of encryption on DNS requests. They want to encrypt the DNS traffic exactly like web encryption using HTTPS. But at the moment, this is a very new protocol and there's limited support for DNS over HTTPS. So they are implementing this on browsers first, Chrome and Firefox. One of the few DNS servers available are from Cloudflare and Google. Firefox uses Cloudflare and of course Chrome will use Google. So what are the possible advantages of DNS over HTTPS? Well, currently your ISP sees every DNS request you make. And here's another trick that ISPs do. Even if you specify your DNS server to be Google, an ISP can intercept that and give you the response from their DNS servers. This trick is called a DNS proxy. 
Now, why does an ISP care if you use Google or Cloudflare? Because the ISP will lose the tracking information about every website you visit. This is information they can sell and they will lose it. The biggest enemy of DNS over HTTPS are the ISPs. If you visit porn.com, church.com, fashion.com, youtube.com, hamburgers.com, the ISP will have a record of this. And specifically, they have a record of you going to these sites. Remember, the ISP knows who you are and where you live. So using the current DNS system, ISPs may not necessarily lose out on this data just because you use Google's or Cloudflare's DNS. They get their fingers in there somehow using a DNS proxy. But DNS over HTTPS will change all that. It changes because the ISP cannot proxy an encrypted DNS request. They will be blind to your DNS traffic. It will be encrypted and the only one that can see the traffic will be your device and the DNS server of Google or Cloudflare. The ISP will no longer be able to record the websites you visit using this particular technique. Now, some of you are clapping your hands right now, thinking this is a win for privacy. In fact, that's what you will see on the internet if you search for this topic. But let me assure you, this is the biggest fake news of all. If you use DNS over HTTPS, which at the moment will be limited to those using Firefox and Chrome, and those enabling this feature, you are actually centralizing the collection of DNS activities to Google and Cloudflare. So instead of DNS traffic being distributed to many players, this narrows it down so an entity like Google will be able to analyze all the DNS data for every user in the entire world. Then you ask, but, 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 it's encrypted. Well, so what? So what if it's encrypted? The message has your IP address. So now they can collect your IP address and the DNS search request. The advantage of this encryption is dubious at best. First of all, even without the DNS search, the ISP and third parties can track which website you are visiting because they know the IP address of the website. And you can do something called a reverse DNS lookup. The ISP can search for the IP address and it returns the domain name. So nothing has really changed. Just takes extra searching by a computer, but it's not a big deal. In fact, here we made it worse because Google, Cloudflare, and whoever provides a DNS over HTTPS service is actually getting a windfall of tracking data, which they can sell. So just to be fair, what are the claim benefits of DNS over HTTPS? Number one. It's supposed to increase privacy because the ISP or anyone sniffing the network cannot see the request. I already explained, you can obtain the same information using reverse DNS lookup. Number two, it's supposed to stop DNS spoofing by a man in the middle. This can prevent a hacker from redirecting you to a tainted website. Now actually, this is true. Because of encryption, a man in the middle can't intercept the DNS. Though I have a response to that later on. Number three, this feature can eliminate content filtering. It's a bad thing supposedly for countries that filter content by banning websites. For example, the ISP or owner of the network could ban access to porn.com by manipulating DNS. By connecting your DNS to a Google server directly or to Cloudflare, then the banning cannot occur. Number four, we can expect that there's mass surveillance being conducted on the unencrypted DNS traffic and three letter agencies must have a big giant database of all of our DNS requests. On the other hand, they also know the IP addresses of the websites we visit. So depriving them of this information is half-baked at best. 
Now let me tell you the flaw in all this. You've just basically transferred your loss of privacy from one area to another. Instead of your privacy being lost in small amounts to many parties, you will lose it to a single player like Google, who by the way, is more equipped to profit from this individualized tracking. And just to remind you that it is Google that's promoting the use of DNS over HTTPS. It claims it's for our own good. Net net, I can't think of how this is a plus. Especially since there are already alternatives that solve the DNS privacy issue. The best way to solve the DNS privacy issue is by using a VPN or Tor. Now, why is this? First, Tor and a VPN already encrypt the first leg of the DNS request. Second, the DNS request is anonymized since it comes out only from the exit node of Tor or the VPN server. Thus, if Google is the supplier of DNS services, they get a large group of people from a single source IP address. This then prevents them from individual tracking of your web traffic. I really wonder where the ideas for these kinds of internet changes come from. Who comes up with these? A data mining scientist at Google? If someone wanted to be really smart about a DNS service that truly protects our privacy, how about an anonymous DNS request? Currently, our requests are not anonymous. Maybe some sort of peer-to-peer -peer method is better for our privacy than these centralized solutions that come from the geniuses who live by stealing our data. Folks, a VPN or Tor is a hundred times better than a DNS over HTTPS. First, your ISP doesn't see the websites you visit, thus stopping the use of reverse DNS lookup. Second, Google doesn't get to see who you are since they don't have your IP address. Third, a VPN or Tor also prevents a man-in-the-middle attacks since your entire traffic is encrypted when you're at Starbucks. But here's a positive to DNS over HTTPS. The Tor and VPN servers could connect to Google using encrypted DNS. Then it would be a win-win because Google gets encrypted data without knowing where the data came from. That is the only place I can think of where DNS over HTTPS is a big plus. For the average user, it is fake news. If this feature is offered to you on Chrome and Firefox, turn it off if you're not using a VPN. Now, otherwise, if you're using a VPN like I am, this feature will not affect you. Again, another proof that we cannot really function in this modern internet without a VPN. Let me just caution you. There are some bad VPNs, free ones, and badly configured ones. The concern is about something called a DNS leak. All your DNS requests are supposed to go through the VPN or Tor. If this is not happening, then something is screwed up. There are websites that can check for a DNS or another common leak called WebRTC. These leaks will show your real IP address. Now my product do not have DNS leaks or WebRTC leaks. Thanks for watching once again, my friends. If you're new here, perhaps I gave you enough interesting information that you would consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell.